Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. Today I'm going to talk to you about bananas for diabetics. Now, I get this question commonly in my practice, whether a diabetic patient can eat banana or not. It's everybody's favorite, and the answer is yes and no. So, actually bananas are not necessarily bad for you, and I'll explain to you why. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so let's get started. So basically, the bananas are uh, right around 30 grams of carbs, depending on how big they are. So if it is a small banana, you can consider like a 20, 22 grams. If it is a large banana, you are taking around 30 grams. Now, not every carbohydrate or starch is created equally, right? So that's based on their glycemic index. So the glycemic index of a banana is right around 50, which is not bad. Below 55 glycemic index is very acceptable. Uh, and the problem is, how do you really tolerate that 30 grams of carbohydrate with a, a fairly moderate glycemic index food? So you would know your body. Uh, if you're a type 1 diabetic and a banana is your breakfast and you know that you take insulin for your carbohydrates or you have to, uh, and you know that you are actually, let's say you're you taking one unit for 10 grams of carbs and you're having a large banana, that's three units, you take it, you're fine, not a big deal, that total of 120 calories is not going to uh, make or break anything, right? Uh, but on the other hand, if you're having banana as a dessert uh, on top of already um, 60 grams of carbohydrates that you had at lunch or dinner, and you're having banana on top of that, of course it's going to increase your um, carbohydrate load. Even if it is a low glycemic index food uh, or moderate glycemic index food, that does not necessarily mean that it's not going to spike your blood sugar. It may spike your blood sugar. And then how much it spikes your blood sugar depends on your insulin resistance as well. So uh, you can test it yourself. So you can, for example, make a very quick test for yourself. You can get up in the morning, let's say your blood sugar is 130, and you can have that banana without having anything else, and check in one hour. And take your medications, if you're on medications, and see what, what happens with that banana. Because the same banana, although yes, banana is a better uh, fruit than watermelon, because watermelon is a glycemic index of almost 80, uh, which spikes your blood sugar way faster than a banana. So banana is still fairly good fruit for diabetes, but again, Again, is not totally innocent. So individually, uh, it can still spike your blood sugar if you're insulin resistant or if you're not taking enough medications to be able to make the insulin to be able to um, take care of that carbohydrate that comes with the banana. So everybody is going to be different. So that's why uh, people get always confused because their friend eat the same thing or their uh, neighbor eats the same thing. Their blood sugars are okay, theirs are not. They say everything I put to my mouth increases my blood sugar. Well, that's because you're a different individual. You're on different medications, your lifestyle is different, uh, your insulin resistance is different. So I think, Overall, I would say the bottom line is the bananas are okay as long as it does not spike your blood sugar as fast or as, as much as you would like to see, more than you would like to see. Uh, so again, as I said, uh, as a general rule, rule of thumb, it is an okay fruit, small banana is not going to hurt you, but then that's around 20, 30 grams of carbs. So if you're on a low carbohydrate diet, you may want to think about that because on a low carbohydrate diet, you may want to go below 45 or 30 grams per meal, uh, and then that banana will throw you off right away. That means that if you're having that banana, you're not having anything else, any other carbohydrate in that, in that meal. So you have to just uh, keep an eye on total carbohydrates. But if you are an athlete and you need to go and run a couple miles and you have diabetes, guess what? You, you better have that banana. So the, it's different from person to person, but it is right. If you're a potato and uh, you're not really doing anything, you're like 300 pounds, that banana will spike your blood sugar because you're insulin resistant. Um, now, if you're going to take a walk after that, you can maybe, you know, get that banana and go for a walk or do some exercise. But again, uh, it depends on the individual and it's best to see it for yourself. See you in the next video, guys.